tools you can use. Uh, today, I'm going to do some kind of funky stuff, talk about uh, these are some things that I am saying are going to be issues down the road. Um, I've read some articles, some kind of forward thinking articles in this industry about, you know, some of the, the weird, funky, problematic, potentially problematic things are going to happen down the road. And realtor groups across the country are having a fit over a couple of different things. And specifically, you know, they've all been attacking uh, wholesalers for the last several years. And now there's three or four states that have kind of banned wholesaling. Um, and, and there's more on the docket. They want to eliminate that because, frankly, the wholesalers cut into uh, the job of the real estate agents in a lot of cases. They look at the real estate agents will tend to look at those of us in this industry who do wholesale as kind of mortal enemies. But they're attacking on a couple of other fronts, too. One of them is the, what's called the love letter uh, angle. Now, a lot of folks uh, as real estate investors will spend time, effort, energy and money sending letters to potential motivated sellers. You know, I love your house. Uh, you guys have all seen these things. You know, my wife and I walk by this house, you know, every day and we'd love to live there and, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's even gotten so bizarre that people um, outside the industry, in other words, organic home buyers, people who want to live in a neighborhood are taking it upon themselves to take a page out of the investor playbook and send what they call love letters. You know, I, I love, I, People legitimately who live in some of these areas uh, or that would like to live in some of these areas are sending these these love letters. And it, it's getting um, it's getting to the point where the real estate brokerages around the country, some of the larger ones, are saying it creates an unfair advantage for investors. Now, investors are being tainted with the brush uh, of doing this. But a lot of times, like I said, these are organic home buyers, a lot of them millennials who want to buy a house and have no other way to do it. So they're sending these heartfelt letters. Um, there's an example on the article I just read about um, some folks, a, a couple who said they would name their firstborn child after the seller of the house. Um, and, you know, once again, the real estate group, the realtors nationwide are collectively looking at this as a threat to their business model. And, you know, so eventually I, I can see something happening where there's going to be some limits on what we can send out to potentially motivated sellers. You know, they, they, these things tend to go too far one way or the other. Um, and so that's, I think, going to be a problem down the road. This specific example is this one millennial couple who said and did uh, name their first child after the seller of the house in order to get, you know, an unfair advantage in buying the house. It's kind of crazy. but. That's how these people think. Anyway, that's the first thing. Num number two um, is a very interesting concept. And, you know, you, you, you got to be one of these people who have more time than uh, money or, you know, don't have enough on their plate to think of this stuff. But they're now determining that things like Ring uh, or other types of recording devices are fostering discrimination in housing. And the concept that the real estate groups, uh, the realtor organizations are going after is you, it just allows you to see who's coming to look at your house so you can pick, frankly, by who you want to have your house. And that's fostering discrimination. Once again, this is being done by homeowners who want to sell, uh, but the realtor groups are making a move to a ban the use of any kind of recording devices when people come look at a house. So, you know, you're, you're kind of between rock and a hard, hard place here. You've got uh, folks that, you know, homeowners who naturally want to protect their house, see who's coming, see who's in their house, see what they're doing, that kind of thing. And then you have this realtor group over here saying that it is discriminatory to be able to look at the person or persons who are coming to look at your house because you may make a decision based on some other factor that's not allowed by law, discriminatory type thing. So uh, it, this thing's goofy. Uh, like I said, you'd have to have a lot of time on your hands to even think of this crap, but they do. And they come up with it. And the next thing you know, at least if no place else, it'll become a law in California, it'll be against the law. Uh, by the way, we talked about this uh, you know, a few months ago, we have this ban uh, starting the first of the year on uh, pigs uh, being able to sell basically hog, 
you know, bacon, sausage, things like that, unless the uh, pigs were sustainably raised, and they have a definition of this, but they don't have a de complete definition. Basically, it allowed the pigs to run wild, they can't be caged, all this kind of stuff before you kill them for meat. It's the goofiest thing. But anyway, we voted it in as a state through our uh, proposition process a couple of years ago. Takes effect here in a couple of weeks. People are finally waking up and saying, you mean I'm not going to have, yeah, I voted for that law, but you, does that mean I can't have bacon, you know, for New Year's Day? Yeah, it means you can't have bacon for New Year's Day. So everybody's up in arms that they voted on something that sounded good on paper. And then, of course, there was no way to, to uh, you know, kind of uncork the or put that toothpaste back in the tube once they've done that. So that's a messed up deal, too. It's, you know, everything starts out here. Uh, on these goofy deals like this and, and works its way back east. So this kind of stuff will be coming your way right now. So uh, I see Brent Carlson's on the phone. Uh, we may have some other Californians in here. Just go stock up on bacon and sausage right now because it'll be hard to buy after the first of the year. <laughs> All right, that's it for news you can use. We're